damage to health and magicka. So fire does damage over time. Lightning does damage to both health and magic. Um, I believe... I don't haven't had any frost spells yet, but I believe frost actually slows them down. And, uh... I'm gonna get wicked with this. I wanna go fire and lightning. Left and right. Nothing in there. Just for the skill ups, I am gonna go ahead and... Oh! Broke a lockpick already. That is no good. For the skill ups, I'm gonna go ahead and lockpick these doors, even if uh, there's nothing in there. Matter of fact, my lockpicking just increased. Hip hip hooray. Whew! I got a feeling I was close to breaking that one. Oh, a coin purse. Oh, how quaint. You can hear my bare feet on the cold stone. Pitter pat, pitter pat. Stormcloak soldier. Looks like he was tortured to death. <coughs> Excuse me. More skeletons. Funny how skeletons still carry gold. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting into the spirit of Skyrim. Into the spirit of the Elder Scrolls. Better to stick together down here. I agree. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. And here it looks like I'm going to get to see some uh, semi-companion oriented combat. Uh oh, I might have set my companion on fire there. That is taking my magicka down. Uh, not horribly fast. Ooh. Armor, not quite worth the, uh, the weight. Zero weight and one value. I'll be taking all the arrows I ever come across. Bracers are one of those where the value is well worth the weight. I just noticed what I did there. Holy crap. Holy crap, that's all oil, and I set it on fire. Wow. I did not notice that with my first player, the first uh, character I played through this with. There was oil on the ground. I could actually see it. There was some discoloration, and uh, I was able to set that oil on fire with a fire spell. That is, that is quite remarkable. And now I actually need to heal. So, I don't think I have a heal on favorite yet. Let's do it. Replace my fire. Let's bring that health up a bit, shall we? I know a body. Here we go. I was going to say, I know a body dropped down here somewhere. This water effect is really, really neat. I really like that. I don't know about the uh, the water effects up here, dripping from the ceiling. Those look a little random, but that water down there, pristine. Let's see where this goes. Do a little third person here. Why not? Oh, oh, hold on. Let's stay in the third person. And let's actually uh, get my flames back on that other side. Oh, we're not. Why not? Because the bridge was destroyed? Really? Okay, well. If the bridge was destroyed, then, uh... Maybe it revealed a passage. Oh, look, it did. Eventually, my uh, my playthrough content will actually be stuff that I haven't played through yet, so you'll genuinely get to see me actually explore and 
see my methods for nook and crannying everything, getting to every little nook and cranny and finding every little object. Uh, but through all this content, I have already went through it once, so I kind of know where everything is. More coin purse. That doesn't go anywhere. No joke. Guess we better try this way. Let's go back to third. I'm gonna toy around with my strafing here a little, just because uh, the game handles it much better. Here, you'll probably get to see the way sneaking works. They don't see me yet. They don't see me yet. Now they see me. See the eyes start to open up, and as it opens wide... Stamina low. Oh boy. My health is really low, too. Let's, uh... Get some healing going here, because I need it. I think I'm actually going to go back to first person just because while third person is a lot cleaner in this iteration of the Elder Scrolls, uh, it's still a bit disorienting for me. I am definitely much more uh, versed in the first person combat. Oh, now that's just creepy. Sure, I will take the spider eggs. Oh, if I get little baby spiders hatching on me, uh, yeah. That's not gonna work out. Skeever tail! Yeah! For right now, I'll take it. We'll see what I can do with it later. Better to stick together down here. Agreed. I did already happen to go up uh, that little bit of hill. There's not anything up on the top. Nothing on the skeleton either. Making sure I didn't forget. Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it Five value slow. sixty. Watch That's worth its weight. Step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch oh, man. Back. As if she knows. Okay, so uh, the bear's not incredibly hard to fight. You can take it out somewhat easily. Probably get some skill off of it. Uh, not really anything real useful on it though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass her right up. That was close. Was well, kind of close. Oh hey, something else I want to show you guys real quick that just occurred to me. Uh, gonna go into my menu real quick, and I just want to show you. Uh, Difficulty, Master. Okay, so the various levels it starts on Adept, uh, Experts Hard, Master, of course, uh, because I am a nerd baller. I play every game on the hardest difficulty I ever come across. Uh, you can go all the way down to Novice. Uh, this is an update from previous titles, too. Um, it used to just be like a slide bar, and in previous titles, it would basically just increase the health and damage of everything you meet. To the point of having battles get, like, Looks grossly like long. I've, in Oblivion, I've had, like, eight-minute sword fights with one guy that uh, are just kind of insane. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it scales in this one yet. Uh, I get the feeling though that it's not so cut and dry. Um, I suppose I'll find more out about that and then kind of tell you as we go. So this is about going to wrap up my first little playthrough here. Um, upon leaving this cave, my Nord friend is going to part ways. And to see the dragon take off. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. Agreed. My sister, Unbound. Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. No, you wouldn't have. Actually, he was kind of—he was kind of—he uh, was kind of able to protect himself. All right, so uh, this is going to conclude my first playthrough. I am now out in the open world. If I would like, 
I guess I can show you a couple more things real quick here. Uh, if I would like, this is where I am right now. I can travel to Riverwood, kind of pick up my main quest and keep on going. Um, from what I understand, I haven't gotten too deep into it yet, but from what I understand, you get most of your dragon shouts through the main quest. So to at least some extent, I would advise going through the main quest, at least until you get a little bit of a uh, baseline under you for, you know, developing your character, and then maybe split out into the world. Um, but you can, at this point, just take off if you want to. You can just basically go exploring and uh, go wherever, which uh, could be pretty dang cool. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please stay tuned to my channel for some more Skyrim content coming out. Uh, see you on the next one.